Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Screaming. Welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall Season of the Wish intel. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through this week's Nightfall and GM Nightfall, which once again is the Corrupted Strike. If you can complete this strike at the Nightfall difficulty this week, you have a chance of earning yourself the Uzuma RR4 Sniper Rifle. And of course, if you can complete this at the GM difficulty and earn yourself a Platinum Score, you will guarantee yourself the Adept version. Of the Uzuma RR4 and there's some great roles for it so you never want to skip out. The Corrupted has been around for a very long time so there are plenty of glitches and cheeses to know to use therein. Some have been changed since the last time I actually made a video on this particular strike but I'm going to run you through all of them whether or not you're a solo player doing this at one of the lower level difficulties or if you're trying to complete this in a fire team at the GM difficulty or even if you're a solo player trying to complete this at the GM difficulty and of course my hat is off to you if you do complete this at the GM difficulty as a solo player as it's not the easiest one but all of these particular cheeses will help in any of those scenarios if you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this you can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember, any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. And we do one every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. And of course, when we reach 100,000 subscribers, we will be giving away an Xbox Series X or a video card of equivalent value if you are on PC. You can also stick around till the end of the video for a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that next giveaway a second time for this video. And remember, I do those secret hashtags on all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. The first area that I think is going to give people the most trouble is the elevator. This is where you have to charge the bombs in order to take out the actual taken shields. Now, of course, you don't need to charge the bombs, but it's going to take a lot more of them in order to take down the taken shields if you don't. You can actually charge at least three of these. I wouldn't say more than three is necessary before you actually start the encounter. Then line up on one of the sides and you want to make sure that you get a clear shot of the actual bosses versus having all the ads in front of them when you throw any one of the bombs as the auto aim in this particular encounter can be very fickle and sometimes will send the bombs right towards a red bar and you end up wasting it. Make sure that you can get a clear shot on the bosses and this should go very quickly, at least for the first phase. The second phase is actually quite a bit quicker as there's way more blights swirling around in the middle. You're going to get more adds and there's going to be more bosses. This is where having a Well of Radiance Warlock is really going to come in handy. Or if you're on a Hunter using Invis will make that a whole lot easier. You can also throw a Tether down right as they spawn in. That can help quite a bit. The next area that I want to give people a little bit of caution about is the double ogre room. Now, there is a very easy cheese for this particular ogre room. However, this can also prevent you from getting a platinum score if you don't know how to properly go about doing it. Now, the best way in order to progress through this area quickly is to simply wait till you get taken into the Taken Realm, plant a well right at the stairs where you see us here, Use a Well of Radiance and take out that Taken Ogre quickly. You'll get teleported back to the normal realm and you can take out the rest of the adds in that room at your leisure. It's best to hold off in this position right by where the stairs are as none of the adds will really progress onto the stairs. Most of them won't even progress past the pillar in front of you. The only ones that will will be the Yellow Bar Knights will sometimes come up directly to the stairs. However, if you move back onto the stairs, they will usually stop. They will not actually come onto the stairs with you. So that's a fairly easy position to hold. However, you do lose a couple of champions in that Taken Realm when you take out the Ogre that quickly. So you might want to try taking out those first before you execute the strategy on the actual Taken Ogre. Just to know, and of course, getting a Platinum score is the only way to guarantee the adept version of the sniper rifle but it doesn't mean that you won't get one if you get a gold score so some people might prefer just doing that strategy just to progress through that area quickly the next little cheese is making sure that when you go down through the taken portal where you have to drop down the many levels and there's all the rocks and other impediments spinning blights that can take you out 
that you don't send all three members of your fire team down at the exact same time. And if you are in a pickup group, make sure that you stay up top because all you need is one person to get through that portal and everybody else will get the joining allies. It's just a way to prevent any excess deaths if you are doing this in a group. Another area that I wanted to make note of and shout out to my buddy Lord Sinister for just telling me to make mention of it is that little jumping area as you progress down into the actual boss zone. It's good for solo players and hunters can actually get up there so it might be worth mentioning just if you're having a little bit of trouble in those intersections between where we actually go from what is the previous areas of the strike and really enter the boss zone. Once you're into the boss zone, there's a couple of new things to note. One, the boss nuke strategy has been patched. There's no way to actually nuke the boss in the first phase of damage anymore. You used to be able to hold on to one of the bombs, take out the shield, wait till you take out all the adds, and then you could do essentially a double phase of damage right before the boss t gets teleported into the Taken Realm. You no longer can do that. But you still want to go about that damage phase the same way. So take out the boss's shields, take out all the adds, do not touch the boss, just allow them to float around. They should be on the right platform at this point if you're facing the front of the battle arena and where you'll eventually go through the portal for the Taken Realm. Take out all the adds and then move up onto the center platform and this is where you're going to do damage. Get another bomb ready so that you can do damage to the boss. As I said, they won't have their shield up. And then as soon as they teleport, which should be to the opposite platform, so directly left of center, you can take out their shield immediately and continue to do damage to them. It seems as though the damage strategy for this particular strike has also changed, where now it's more about rocket launchers, so maybe have a couple of players if you are doing this in a fire team with Apex Predator and one with Gallahorn or maybe just a Gallahorn. Dragon's Breath might also be a decent option, though I haven't tried it in this particular strike. This is where Tether will also come in handy if you're going to Tether the boss or if you're going to use a Well of Radiance. I would use it before you actually start this first phase of damage. And you see as soon as it's done, the boss will teleport to the left and you're going to throw your remaining bombs to take down her shield and continue to do damage. But the boss will then teleport, regardless of how much damage you do into this phase. You can do a maximum or a minimum, but regardless, they will not die and they will get teleported into the Taken Realm. So you're going to have to at least go into the Taken Realm at some point in order to complete this particular strike. There is a couple other things of note about this particular part of the strike that I would like to mention, though I don't think they necessarily will work anymore, or at least I have not been able to get the exact strategy correct in order to sequence this properly to get it to work. It used to be fairly simple. But what you used to be able to do is essentially grab one of the bombs right as the boss gets teleported. You could then follow the boss through the portal with the taken bomb, and take out the boss's shields before she goes to the top center platform. Now this is great for a couple of things. One, when the boss is at the top center platform, the mechanics change entirely. And you'll most likely need to at least take one of the bombs from the middle platform in order to finish the strike and finish off the boss. And sometimes, like in the previous era, or the previous zone now you cannot actually complete the encounter in one boss phase. That doesn't seem to matter if you do it this way. So as you see, I have a bomb, and I take down the boss's shields from the first platform before they actually ascend up to the top platform. Seems as though the boss is able to take full damage, and the shields do not come back in this particular phase of the encounter. Now the only thing is, is that you used to be able to just grab the bomb and move through the portal and you could do it as you see me doing it here. But that doesn't seem to work anymore as the balls or the bombs seem to disappear as soon as the boss gets teleported. However, every single time I've made any information about this particular strike, 
somebody has left a comment saying they were able to do this. Now, they haven't given me e exact way or exact sequence. There might be some benefit to having a charged bomb available when the portal opens up. You might be able to go through that way. But I do think that this is still a possibility and something of note, though I wouldn't necessarily try it the very first time in a GM once you've reached this point. But I would like to hear from the audience. If anybody does try this, just maybe testing it out on a lower level difficulty nightfall this week, please let me know exactly what worked. Having a charge bomb is the first thing that I would think of, but there might be others. There might be a benefit to having as many charge bombs as possible. In that case, it would be three before the portal opens up. For the actual boss arena and the final part of this boss encounter, a couple of things to know. One, when you're running around the boss arena, always make sure to slide. This breaks the aggro of the boss, as well as the adds, which are probably one of the more annoying parts of this particular boss encounter. So it will prevent you from getting knocked off the ledge somewhat, at least as much as possible and that's probably one of the most annoying and frequent ways to die at this particular part of the encounter for the first phase of damage you want to retrieve one bomb and you can still do damage from off the actual boss platform you might actually be able to finish the boss or at least nearly finish the boss at this point hopefully you can i don't know if they've instituted some sort of damage regulation where you the boss will always get their shields back regardless of how much damage you do to them there. But know that after that particular boss damage phase, you will get a joining ally. So you will actually have to jump to the actual boss platform or you might even get a, a turn back warning. Just make sure that after that initial phase of damage, you make your way to the boss platform. Try to do as much damage as you can so that when you are on the boss platform, you can finish the boss off as quickly as possible as it does get much more difficult and annoying past that point. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel as this is going to conclude all the information today. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. As I said before, they'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. If you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag season of the wish or a hashtag Lightfall or hashtag the corrupted in the comments section down below for another entry into the next giveaway for this video. And once more, I'm Wilhelm Scream. We will see you next time. Later!